Now we got the guy. Jack Benedict is on the line with us here this morning from Evansville, Indiana. Our conversation brought to you by Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. IUP in the Elite Eight tomorrow. Just got the release of the game notes from IUP Sports Information. Jack, we're all primed back here. But what about where you are? I'm guessing that it's it's pretty cool to be in Evansville right now, huh? Oh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, uh, if not, the season's over. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're ready to go. The teams are here, and we're right across the street. It's kind of like uh, we're staying at a Hilton, just mm-hmm. like at home, and uh, like uh, at home where the KCAC is across the street. The Ford Center is right across the street from us, and that's where all the activity will happen. Yeah. So we've got some things. Uh, they've got things planned. You said you have the itinerary. You got the release before I did, I guess. Mm. But anyway, uh, <laughs> let that be known. Yeah, we've got some things planned today, or they do, and uh, then the, we'll be playing some ball tomorrow. What's, uh, what about the workout schedule? I'm, I'm sure they were on the court maybe yesterday, but certainly they will be today. No, they'll be on today. They each have about an hour and almost an hour and a half. And uh, IUP will be on the court from 2 to 3.30, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's see. Uh, There's a a conference earlier with all the coaches. It's a short conference. And uh, all the the coaches, all eight of them will be there. They'll tell about their teams. And it's all pretty, you know, cut dry. Skip uh, laid out for you, huh? We're happy to be here and, you know, that sort of thing. And Mm -hmm. we know that the other teams are good and, you know, that sort of deal. But I'm going to get a chance to try to. I'm going to talk with their coach, try to get an interview with him, John Farp. He's been there about the same time that Joe's been at IUP, and then uh, we, of course, have the. Uh, we, we're, we're permitted to go to the open practice, and uh, Tony and Al go there, and then at five. Well, it's five o'clock here, six o'clock your time. We're going to do the show. Um, brought to the preview show brought to you by the co-op store and uh, we're going to do that i found a spot in the lobby i think looks pretty good where uh, it's a pretty big lobby down there in the area I, I got permission that um we can you know bring some people in and yeah and talk about what's happening yeah now is that going to be a radio only show or video as well I think it's just radio as far as I am. I just show up and do what I'm supposed to, and they tell me <laughs> what it's on, you know. <laughs> That's on 92.5 FM, U92, starting at 6 o'clock tonight. I, I, part of what you do as you get out there and you get set for this great tournament is uh, uh, you sort of get the lay of the land, and uh, and I know you were there, what was it, seven years ago that IUP was the last time there in Evansville. Have they shined up your statue out in the park there? <laughs> No, no, no statue for me. You know, that's, uh, no, no, no statue around that I can find. Uh, we were here actually in first time with uh, Gary Edwards in 2002. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was the first time. And in 2015 with Joe. Um, it's, uh, you know, it was a long trip. There's just no question. Mm-hmm. And uh, it took us about nine hours. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, yeah, so we pulled in last evening, the team show, the team yesterday, oh, wait a minute, let me think. Okay. Saturday they left, uh, by big bus, one of those slumber buses went to, uh, the Lexington, Kentucky area, stayed overnight and then came in yesterday. So they were here earlier. Uh, a couple of teams came in, you know, actually we had just come in, uh, around our time would be around, uh, around eight o'clock here. Mm-hmm. And um, and uh, then we, we had some dinner a little bit later on, Tony and I, and we watched basketball. What else? You know, we listened to basketball all the way in, all the way in, and all those <laughs> games from one to on serious, one to the other to the other. And then, um, of course, uh, here uh, with what we have set up for today, which would be good, and we'll try to get a couple of interviews, and you know, that we'd be able to use, and, and uh, you know, we'll go from there. And then, of course, we we play tomorrow. There. Four uh, games, and it's always lots of fun. Came across some folks at the home show over the weekend uh, that they were headed out to Evansville. They said they're going to have an alumni get-together for IUP folks out there. And uh, and IUP is a team that travels pretty well, don't they? Yeah, they do. Uh, we know, uh, you know, I'm aware of some people. That I was told that we'll be here, and I think they did kind of the same thing the team did, that they were going to drive about the uh, partway and then, you know, lay over and then come on the next day. So uh, we haven't seen any yet, but we will in a little while. 
uh, we'll try to get a little breakfast in here before. Mm-hmm. And, but believe me, uh, it was a pretty good night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, was uh, looking this morning as we prepared the sports report, uh, the Bevo Francis awards, Armani, unfortunately didn't make the top 25, but this kid for Hillsdale certainly did. And, 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 uh, Nova Southeastern has two guys on the, on the final 25 list, uh, there's there's some darn good ball players that IUP has the potential to face in this tournament. Starts tomorrow night. Oh, that, that kid's good. Yes, yeah. I watched some video uh, yesterday before I left of the Hillsdale game with um, this, this, the championship that they had. Well, not with Missouri St. Louis, uh, but with Ferris State. Mm-hmm. And uh, Ferris State was a two seed. Hillsdale was a three seed. Pretty much had the lead most of the way. It was it, it was very competitive. Um, Cartier is a well, obviously a very good player. He's six eight, and uh, it'd be a nice matchup in there with he and and my, our boy Mr. Porterfield. And then they have a play a player about also about six eight named Yardian. Uh, I'm sure he'll be Tomawa probably be matched up with him, and um, they're very solid. You know, not spectacular but solid. Yeah. And, uh, that'll be, a, you know, that, that'll be a great test. Uh, Augusta is, looks very good from the, from stats. And of course, you know, Jim Crutchfield, the former coach of West Liberty, his team, Nova, the only undefeated team in any division in the country, Nova Southeastern from Florida. Mm-hmm. Uh, they are 30 and oh, they are not in our bracket. Yeah. But, you know. So the only way we meet up with Crutchfield again is, is in the championship game, and that that'd be perfectly fine, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be a nice way to spend a Saturday afternoon with CBS <laughs> on hand and with all of our broadcasts. And yeah, that'd be a that'd be a sweet thing, wouldn't it? We've yeah, done that before, but maybe it's time to win one, huh? Yeah, we might <laughs> might just as well. As long as you're there, you might as well stay the whole way through, Jack, and, and win a championship. Well, believe me, I've got so many clothes here. I don't know what to do with them, but we were really Pretty well packed in. I will mention that IUP has played Hillsdale. Oh, yeah? In football. Oh, no. okay. 1970 mm-hmm. and 1971. And we played them at home in 1970. I'll never forget. It's the biggest team I'd ever seen IUP play. Maybe, you know, they were big when we, everybody else was small. <laughs> <laughs> and then in 71, we beat, we beat them. Um, we beat them in one of those years, so mm-hmm. it was a one and one deal, and uh, we beat them at Hillsdale. And uh, my dear friend Larry Monsilovich, who was the first grade running back I ever broadcast, had a big fumble in that game. I'm sure Larry <laughs> wouldn't like me to say that, but <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that was. Fifty-two years or whatever it is. Yeah, it was so long ago that uh, that those that's water under the proverbial bridge. Jack, you're going to oh, be yeah. on the air tonight, six o'clock on ninety-two point five FM U ninety-two, and then you've kind of kindly consented to come back and join us again tomorrow morning, and we appreciate that. Have a wonderful day in Evansville today. Okay, we'll do that. We have some things to do, but uh, it's all good fun. Yeah, right. thanks. Mo- have a good, uh, good day, Todd. You too. We'll see you. There's Jack Benedict with us this morning. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 1160. And AM 11-